Okay, boys and girls, I'll make this video yet one more time. We always run across this all the time. Uh, and, and I think there's a language barrier here, which is why it's not coming across well. But look, here's we're in DAZ right now. And if you, if you look at what I've got here, I've got this tune generation mail that I loaded in. And I added another tune generation mail. This is the same mail. So if you turn this off, let's just turn all these off so you can see. There he is naked. So, so he's there. So here's this guy. Okay. But when you put clothes on him, it hides part of the mesh, which is why you get an error when you try to import it in using Transformer. So what you have to do is, after you put your clothes figure in and you get that error, then you have to drag in another Genesis figure without this selected. So these are two separate figures. Okay. Two separate figures. This guy's here. And this guy's here. And so this guy fits the clothes, but because the clothes aren't hiding any of his mesh, it'll be fine when importing it into Character Creator. So we go here. This is my experiment in here. I'm making a cousin in. We go to Transformer. We go to TG. TG is the first one. I'll get the error message. I'll, I'll show you that. Without doing that, without putting that extra character in, you will get an error message. And here's the error message that you will get. Basically what it says is, Hey, I'm looking at this character and it, the mesh doesn't match up. When it says that, it means the clothing invariably is not correct. It's it's hiding some of the mesh. So in order to do that, you do what I said. You you go ahead and you uh, and you create a uh, a version that has both of those characters in. So now when we load it, what will happen is it's going to look at the clothing and the character, the one that's hot, that's being hidden in the vertices, and it's going to know that it's uh, wrong, but it sees the other naked one and thinks, oh, well, that's all clothing for it. So in other words, it looks at the mesh for that other character and thinks it's a piece of clothing for this character, if that makes sense to you. So what we do when we're loading it in is we just ignore that duplicate character here. So here's the Genesis mail, and see it's loading him in his cloth. It thinks it's cloth because it doesn't match up. So we just go ahead and we uncheck that. That's all we have to do. All the regular clothing is going to come in and fit that new character that we drug in that isn't going to be hidden by the vertices. I don't know... I don't know how more I can explain this. It's real simple. Every time you have this error, just drag in another character that matches the a naked character that matches the character of the clothing that you're trying to bring in. And then when it all loads everything in, when it takes all this time, what it's doing right now is it's taking that uh, a naked character and it's putting in all the clothing from the first character. So there we go. We got we got exactly what we want. This is this is exactly how we wanted to do it. Uh, hopefully that makes sense to everybody. I, I'm not sure it, you know, how else I can explain this, uh, but that should solve all your problems. Okay, and we'll see you on the forums.